You know how to work that? Barely. Barely? Yeah. No. Um, I'm always learning. Yeah, and, that's. <laughs> and I'm always getting critiqued on uh, YouTube as well. I haven't done. I haven't done that yet, but yeah. it will be coming. Yeah. Well. Yeah. You, go. you gotta keep it. Yeah. You just toes. gotta get ready for the all the critiquing stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, we're here with Butch and Nancy, and they're followers of ours, and they showed up uh, here in North Central Florida. We're reached... stalking y'all. <laughs> But anyway, uh, they're down from uh, from the north central Arkansas, and uh, they're spending some time down here in, in uh, this part of Florida, and you came down here to do some kayaking, right? Right. Exactly. Yeah, well, obviously, because I see a kayak there hanging yeah. on the side, we, and there's another one just like it on the other side, yeah. right? Yeah, we, exactly we, we, like we just it. came from kayaking about yeah. three hours ago. Yeah. <laughs> You just kayak, kayak the uh, Itchitutney River. Itchitutney, because yeah. a wonderful recommendation from Bill. Well. Wonderful. Well, it's we're glad that you enjoyed it. it. Yeah, yeah, we're tickled I mean, to death that you did. Yeah. Absolutely. Anybody. And if things get to happen like maybe will happen, uh -huh. everybody needs to kayak. The yeah, absolutely. Exactly yeah. right. Absolutely. It, it is, it is a, a memorable trip, oh, that's for sure. It was amazing. Yeah, yeah absolutely. But anyway... Obviously, your uh, tiny house is a, a bit on the unique side. So uh, why don't you all start telling us the story how we arrived at this. Uh, I understand that the basic trailer itself has been in the family for quite some time. Is that correct? Yes. 50 to yeah. 60 years. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, go ahead. Just tell us something about it here. Well, it belonged to my mother and daddy. It was actually given to them brand new. Uh huh. So it belonged to my mother and daddy. Mm -hmm. And my mother passed it on to us. And we have used it for years. And I call it the trash trailer. It's what it... <laughs> used to be. Yeah, used to be. And so he converted the trash trailer into our tiny travel cabin. It's a cabin. Okay, I'm yeah, sorry. It's a cabin. I, 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 uh, I did not... Uh... Yeah. Give it the proper name. Forgive it, me it, for that. It and is, what size is your proper cabin? It's a five by eight. On five, five by eight. eight. Yes. Okay. It started as a five by eight. So the outside is the outside a five by eight? Yeah, it's okay. a five by eight. But so the inside is n definitely not a five yeah, by eight. It's maybe. Not anymore. Four foot seven inches inside with time the walls are insulated and everything. And we've done to it in about. About five and a half foot tall in, at the peak, which we're eventually going it's to. It's more than five feet because it's well, taller Well, I said about me. five and a half. <laughs> yep. You're going to do a lot of editing. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, but we, we, it started out as because as, we were hauling our kayaks on top of the car, and that became to be a troublesome type thing for us. Cause, Road! You know, yeah. <laughs> no. oh, and, and I'm short. And she's short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time challenge. Yeah, I, she's, yeah. And stuff. So she said, and I think, well, why don't you just throw them in here? In this he trailer. He just wanted to throw them in the trailer. And then he didn't way, want to do anything with the trailer, just throw them in the trailer. And then all of a sudden it said, well, maybe if we put a little cover over it, we could change our wet clothes back into dry clothes after we get out from kayak. And then, then that evolved into what you see here yeah pretty much and then the things that we've done it took about three and a half months in the in the garage roughly in the, to do that. and that's another reason why it, it's, it's only the ceiling, seven foot tall it, yeah it's because outside height from the ground up is sure. seven foot or he, just a hair under seven foot he so did not the garage he, door. he did not want to build it outside he wanted to build it in the garage yeah. where he wouldn't have to contend with the weather there you yes. go so yeah. now we are discussing Raising the roof. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> disassemble. Disassemble. Taking the top, the top off and raising <laughs> the roof. So. You know how when you when you live in one of these kind of things, you just always doing something to it. But see, it doesn't bother me because I don't have a problem with the height. I stand up in it just fine. Yeah. He's the one that's got the issue. Uh -huh. not, not me. <laughs> okay, so if he wants to raise the roof, I mean, yeah, yeah, I'm good. There you go. Yep. Well, I can't help but notice uh -oh. that you've got two solar panels. Let me get a shot up here. You got two solar panels on this side, and two, and on the there's other. two more just like it on the other side. Right. 
And Butch, you were telling me a little bit about your solar system, and uh, and wow, you've got quite a quite a system yeah, going it, here. A, Tell us about yeah, it. It's a 40 amp uh, charger, uh -huh. and it has a 3,000 watt inverter and two 100 watt Battleborn lithium batteries it's right. all in the front which we can show you if you want to look yeah at we'll look at so. that here in just a little bit okay yeah and then it has its uh, hookup for shore power so we can run off that we don't have to worry about running that we also have a 2300 watt inverter generator in the front if we need <laughs> that when we go boondocking if we run out of sun or in the rain or whatever and we have our little 20 gallon uh, LP gas tank in the front that runs our two burner cook stove inside and she also has a little pump for her water that comes up out of a copper tubing that we specially bit for that reason to get water yeah and we can shower inside we have little hooks in the ceiling that we put up our shower curtain we have our shower pan in there and we get in we have one of those on-demand little sprayers that you sit in the bucket of warm water mm -hmm. and you got your shower and in the bed is a is a couch and it comes out like a treadle type bed and it slides out and turns into a almost a oh, regular size bed almost it's as long as it sleeps very comfortable mm -hmm. and uh, there's four drawers up underneath the uh, seating area that slide out that for storage we started out putting storage bins plastic bins that didn't work real well they slid all over the place and it was cumbersome trying to take one out and get the other one out and put this one. You needed that in the back this way. I came home and I told her, I said, we was on a trip. And I said, I'm going to build some drawers under there. And she said, you're going to do what? Really? <laughs> and it took about three days, but I got slide out drawers underneath the, the couch. So that gives us a lot more space. Yeah, this is our little uh, porta potty thing that we have here. And <clears throat> we just keep it covered with this cushion so we can use it. It doubles as a stool. And it comes in pretty handy, you know, at times when you are way away and you might have to go. <laughs> I don't quite understand what you're saying there. <laughs> if you have to go, if you don't you understand, go. just wait a minute and I'll show you. you. Want to go out. And then these, these fold up and down, uh -huh. you know, that kind of stuff with, with the thing here. And here's where our computer is stored we back up underneath there. A little bit. And then there's our temperature gauge outside weather 72 degrees outside and balmy little 65 isn't, cool in here isn't it great to be in north central florida right now oh it is yeah it is really fabulous nice. yeah absolutely and our, our we, we our little pictures they, we tried to hang them up but they just flopped too much we just put them on piano hinges and let them flop oh <laughs> hadn't thought about that one yeah hadn't thought about that one all righty and then okay. this, well, just quick here let me show you what you got just put the chargers my coffee pot just fell out which goes here there's our water coffee pot toaster behind it spices stuff that's our broom and then a few little of the knobs and ends and the light and stuff all underneath the cabinet there cool cool and of course this slides out to make a, a bed all the way across yes, is that this, correct yes this has got the slats right there uh -huh. and this then this slides out like that sure this is the drawers uh-huh right here that's slide out like that and there's four of those different sizes yeah each one of them's got different different things in them and then of course you got your fruit jars up there fruit jars up there with different stuff in them you know sugar and whatever and then this is her little nighttime reading light oh i like that yep i like that yeah and it also will charge your phone. This is all barn wood here. Uh-huh, yeah. And this is barn wood right here, and we just put a coating on it to keep it from wanting to flake. And here's the other two solar panels up here. And then, of course, here's your other kayak right here. Yeah. Now tell us about uh, everything you have in this toolbox up here. Well, uh, I've got uh, just got in my uh, Wii Boost the day before we left to come to Florida and it's the the, the units is installed it just don't have the antenna installed on, onto the back end of the of the cabin we have this uh, there's my fuel tank right there and in, in all and it has a boards around the bottom of it it doesn't rock around or do anything shore power cable this is my toolbox <laughs> everybody's got to have a toolbox of course and my generator which is at 2300 uh, 
what uh, inverter generator seven hours on one gallon of gas which is good and then this is the inverter I mean the, the, the charger and my battery control uh, uh, it's a 150 amp uh, breaker for my 3000 watt inverter and then when I need to plug into it I can just plug straight into it over there and then the, the control box a little light here for nighttime uh -huh. Use. And there is your two uh, uh, 100 amp hour uh, lithium iron phosphate battle borne battle, batteries. Battle borne batteries. Yeah. And then this this is my breakdown cushion. Uh -huh. In case you need to get out on the ground and do something, it, uh -huh. it folds out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Folds out. So. Uh, and then <clears throat> we moved. The <clears throat> Excuse me. We moved the water can outside to make a little bit more room inside. So I just built this on, and it's all. Highly secured. I mean, mm -hmm. bolt, bolt, bolt. And it's obviously it's here, a thousand miles later. <laughs> now, see, you have a little air conditioner, and, right and a little five thousand BTU air conditioner, and it will run off of the inverter. Cool. And everything. So when we boondock, we don't. We're, we're there as long as it's uh, sun shining. And if it's not, pull out the generator. And the gas can's on the back side of the trailer back there for it. Well, it is just uh, really cool, really cool. And when you told me over the phone that it was unique. <laughs> unique, I, unique was a little strong or not strong enough? No, no, no. I think, I think it's, uh, it's unique and it's cool all yeah. at the same time. And, and all, all the wood that's on it came off a, an old barn that was uh, on our home uh, place there. And uh, some of it's over. Well, the barn was built in the like 1890 something like that uh, time but uh and we're going to try to get some more wood to do a few other projects that we do around the house and little things and stuff but that's what all the wood on it is and the uh it's got just a basic classic rib type metal on the top uh, mm -hmm. and stuff and uh it's all wrapped in an ice guard that you would normally put on your house but it's completely wrapped all the way around all the walls are insulated with inch and a a uh, half a uh, solid foam insulation, top end floor, everything. And the floor inside is a, is a little vinyl, snap down vinyl plank. Um, we have a five gallon water bucket inside the unit underneath the sink for daily use of water when we have. Uh, all the, the clearance lights on it are all new clearance lights put on. Now the boats, my friend who is a welder, is the one that designed the uh, Lynn Smith, and he did, uh, designed the brackets that hold the boats. He come up with this idea. He said, we could probably put them on there that way and still be within the regulation and everything, because he's a real strickler on that kind of stuff. And so, work perfect, make it easy, get them on, get them off. Absolutely. And Absolutely. with our anchors here, they're they're well anchored into the, to the building, so they're not coming off. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. And it has satellite uh, radio inside also. Yeah, and a TV, <laughs> and then we have we we use our uh, Roku to uh, watch Bill's uh, tiny house adventures. <laughs> well, we appreciate that. We yeah, really do. Yeah, yeah. Do you have an idea what it weighs, Butch? Do you have any idea at all? I'm I'm saying it's it's probably somewhere between twenty five hundred and three thousand total okay. with everything on it. And what do you tow it with here? With a right, right now we're towing it with our seventeen Jeep Grand Cherokee with a five point seven Hemi engine. Oh well. Yeah, it it, 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 it it don't even know it's back there. Yeah, absolutely. And this this little this little apparatus right here, if anybody's looking for a small sway bar to put on their small little trailer, get you one of those right there. Guarantee you you'll love it. Because that thing will pull I can pull this trailer at seventy miles an hour and not even know it's back there. And it's made by Kurt. C U R T. Yep. yep. Right. Fantastic. Fantastic. And it has uh 5,000 pound little jacks overkill on the uh, uh, trailer jacks underneath there. Mm -hmm. And that's my little bucket I put on there for people to say, hey, you got you know, people point at you. What, what's that on the back of your, you better get that. It's screwed down to the thing won't fall off. <laughs> <laughs> and I had a lady when we were driving in, for first got into uh, Walton uh, Beach, the area, therefore we were pulling in. It was at a red light. She's blowing her horn at me. And I said, what's wrong? What, something off the tunnel's off? Rolled the window down. She rolled her window down. She said, where'd you get that? Where'd you get that? Pointing at the trailer. And I said, out of my garage. Uh-huh. 
And she said, oh, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> we what? had a lot of comments on it. It's, it's been to Colorado, uh, Louisiana, Texas, wow. Missouri, you name it. It's, it's been around. That was my next question, is where are all the places you've been with yeah. it so far? Yeah. Yeah, fabulous, absolutely fabulous. And I love your deck here. I love this rear deck. And of course it folds down. And you were telling me about the chains yeah. that Nancy specified that she wanted you to find some Nancy rusty told me, she said, chains. I do not want new chains on this. She yeah. don't like this part right here, but I said, I can't help it. That's just gotta be those ways. Sure. And she agreed to that, but her brother had an old chain and we went over to his house and he said, will this work? And I said, I looked at her and I said, will this work? And she said, yep, that'll work. And so they worked. And that's how I do it. We just pick it up and hook it back up Absolutely. there. But she wanted the old rusty chains. Absolutely. And, you know, we have a fruit jar under here for a, uh, a porch light right there. And then that's our exhaust vent for our little bitty fan for a, like a hood vent, but it's not really, but it pulls the stuff out. And that's our temperature gauge over there, which is the thing. Uh -huh. So you have... So you can be inside the trailer and you'll know what the temperature is outside. Yes. yes. Well, how about that? Yep. How about that? All those modern conveniences. Modern conveniences. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, we think this is just the coolest thing in the world. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Deb and I do. Um, wow. What can I say? And, that, and we have that 12 volt, a little 12 volt outlet back here so we can set our uh, refrigerator ice box, which we keep in the car. That we could sit out here or in the tent because it has a long cable we can plug in there or 12 volt lights when we eventually get to that point that we can put a 12 volt light in the tent well you definitely have plenty of power to run anything oh, you yeah. want to run that's yeah. for sure absolutely yeah. absolutely and that's what i keep telling her i want to hook everything up 12 volt i can because the batteries will last longer than the batteries going through the other thing but when she wants to run her stuff that needs to run and especially making coffee in the morning yeah I, that's that's me well i gotta I, have that cup of coffee that's the same with deb and i that's for sure <laughs> we can't start the day without uh our uh, our coffee that's for sure well this is just absolutely fabulous hey nancy come on over here stand over here next to your husband <laughs> this way, I'm actually I'm there. You go. Shorter yeah. than the roof. <laughs> well, Butch and Nancy, Nancy and Butch. How yes, should I say this? Nancy and Butch. That's the way I should say yes, it. Yes, that's the way you should that, say yeah. it. Yeah. Well, hey, I've been married almost fifty years, so I should know that by now. We've been married almost fifty. Yeah, almost fifty. Almost fifty-two. Yeah. yeah this, wow. This, this, this well, Nancy must have been like five when you married her. I right? was. She was. Oh, she yeah, was really I young. was. <laughs> Actually, what is so crazy is that he was on his way to Vietnam. Yep. And we decided we dated for like three years. He was on his way to Vietnam, so we said, let's get married. He was a year older than me. His mother had to sign for him, but my mother didn't have to sign for me. Aha. Uh -huh. In Arkansas, a woman could be much younger mm -hmm. and get married. That's true. And here he was going to Vietnam. And his mother had to sign for him to get married. Aww. Pretty bad. That's pretty sad. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty, pretty sad. sad. <laughs> That's pretty, pretty sad. sad. So. But we just wanted to let you all know how much we appreciate you taking the time, bringing your trailer over here to show it to us. And uh, uh, Deb and I both think it's really cool. And uh, anyway, what we have to say right now, and I hope you all remember <laughs> our tagline, right? This is Bill and Deb. Get up there, Deb. Yes, Deb. This is Bill, Deb, Nancy, and Butch with I Ride Tiny House Adventures. And we're signing off for now, but as we always say before we go, we're not camping. We're, we're living. living. Absolutely. Y'all take care. Y'all get out there and do some living yourself. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye now. <laughs>